Hey everybody, this is Dave from Garden Home Garden. I have just gathered a humongous bag, the size of this bag right here, all of red bud seeds. Now red bud is a legume. It creates these seed pods like this. Inside each one of those you'll have about two to four little seeds in it. And some of them you can't feel very well. I'm going to see if I can open that here one-handed. Let's zoom in on that. So, they're easy to open if you have two hands on it. But there you go. That's a seed right there. Okay. Now, the red bud seeds require some help to break dormancy. And typically what you do is you nick the seed coat and let it soak. Um, you can also take some really, really hot water and soak them in that until it cools. Then nick the seed coat. Uh, but you've got to break into that seed coat area so that the water can actually seep into the embryo and sprout. So in the wild, these would probably take two winters to actually germinate. So what I'm going to do with this whole bag is I'm not going to worry about breaking all these up. Because that would take forever. So, but on our land, we don't really have any red buds. There's a couple here and there. So I'm going to take the red buds from... Our home here sprinkle them throughout the woods out there and just let them grow naturally so that one day we'll have a bunch of redwood or red buds out there so anyway it's a big bag I may take some of these and try to plant them separate them out but I'm not going to go through this whole bag that's that just takes forever unless there's a faster way where you could get all the all the seed pods out see I mean they're easy to remove see there's one right there I did that perfectly they're easy to remove from there but when you have this many it just would take forever so I might get somewhere between 30 and 50 seeds and I might do this way and separate out and then treat them and see if I can get some to sprout in the spring it might be a good winter sowing project for folks if you take a milk jug and do the whole winter sowing thing with the red bud seeds um, probably go ahead and nick the seed coat before you put it in there so you can help speed up the germination in the spring. That way you might escape having to do it for two winters. So anyway, those are red bud seed pods. It's a lagoon. It would fix nitrogen back in the soil as its leaves and everything decompose. Um, it's good to have around if the flowers are edible. I believe the pods are also edible up to a certain point. Obviously the, the wouldn't really do much for you right now. So, uh, red buds. And I had a leaf here a moment ago, but it has fallen somewhere. They have the heart shaped leaves. And uh, they're not really showy in the fall, but they are really showy in the spring with the blooms. Um, and when they've got those blooms, they can actually appear all the way along the trunk and the stems and the branches. So you don't just get them at, at the end points of the nodes and stuff you get them all over the tree even on the trunk um, they're a favorite pollinator food for say bees like pollinate like um, carpenter bees and bumblebees and stuff so anyway red buds are good trees to have around they're native to north america uh, we've got a lot of them here in tennessee and it's really pretty up in the cumberland area upper cumberland those are the plateau cookville crossville in the springtime it's just it's a wash with color all in purple it's beautiful, but nice tree to have around, good in the spring, good for pollinators. So anyway, this is Dave from Grown Home Garden. Thanks for watching.